I don't know, I've been told that my chest hair is, is a bit of an asset for me. I've been cumblebented on my bum, I don't think you want to see that. 27 Wait, 27 questions. Questions. 27 weeks. 27 questions. What's the sexiest thing about you? Show us. Hey, I said, let me sit this. I said, let me sit this. I said, let me sit this. Oh, fuck it up. Fuck it, can't shake because I'm like standing on a little. <sighs> yeah, so the sexiest thing about me is definitely my assets, if you know what I'm talking about. I quite like my my hands. They're like little old lady hands. I think that might be a bit weird, actually. My goofy cackle. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that the sexiest thing about me is my brain. I can pretty much work a room, I can tap into what people like, and I can become anything that anybody wants. I mean, I became a woman. Wow, isn't that amazing? Actually, maybe being a tranny is the most sexy thing. I don't know. I'm not sure I have an answer. <laughs> my haircut. Which, hang on. Awesome. Bow chicka wow wow, right? I have, <laughs> I have a booby tattoo and I love it. <laughs> I would say physically my serious face. <laughs> uh, but besides that, I'd say I'm a very good listener. And I think when people hang out with me, they realize I'm good at listening and, and finding out about your day, etc. And I think that makes me sexy. Before my accident, I would have probably said my legs, but now, as a disabled person, I'm not really viewed as sexy or I don't look at myself and go, yeah, sex queen or anything like that. I don't think many people think that people in wheelchairs really have like sex appeal. And I don't think that many people find resting bitch face <laughs> very sexy either. So. I wouldn't say I'm like overly self-conscious or I like I've got a lot of self-doubt but like at the same time I don't think I've got that confidence in myself to be able to confidently say something like that. That'd kind of be a bit difficult for me to answer. <laughs> so I've got plenty of junk in the trunk and I work pretty hard to be fit and healthy and yeah it looks pretty good in a nice tight pair of jeans. <laughs> I don't know, I've been told that my chest hair is, is a bit of an asset for me. I've been cumblebented on my bum, I don't think you want to see that. I have been told that I give good hugs, and I've been told that I have a sexy voice. What happens when they see the face after the voice? I don't know. I don't know what the base requirements for sexy are. I don't want to be the bitch that says, oh, I have a nice personality, because I feel like that's a cop-out. I think I've been told I've got a really good smile, and it's a... Very contagious smile. Um, my partner does love my calf, so I don't know why, but she seems to think they're the most sexiest thing about me. This fat ass, let me show you. You want to see something? <laughs> my room's so messy. Um, yeah, my sexiest thing about me is definitely my fat fucking ass. Like, uh, yeah. I think I can be pretty funny. I think I'm pretty funny, so I think I can hold a good conversation and uh, once I'm comfortable with people, I can, you know, hold a conversation and also get some good laughs in. I think I'm pretty funny and um, I've got decent cannons. <laughs> I paid for big fake lips, does that count? Makes me feel cute. I don't know, there's not a lot going on here. I'm quite confident in the bedroom so like that's probably great my tattoos i like i think they're pretty sexy have a nipple piercing i can't show you any of these things but i think those things are sexy i mean i've been told that i've got a face for radio um fortunately i think i've also got a nice voice for radio as well so it's probably my dulcet baritone uh nodules i really like this quote from Grey's anatomy it's from christina yang my all-time favorite tv show love love she says this thing where she's like, if you want to appease me, compliment my brain. And I think that's like the best line ever. Very Christina Yang. And I'd probably like to say, hopefully the sexiest thing about me is my brain. I've never really thought of myself as very sexy. So I would say my mind and my intelligence. Not to sound <laughs> like I'm scamming out of the question. I don't have anything to show you. Otherwise, it's pretty... Pfft, <sniffs>
flat, flat. <laughs> this pink hair just gives me, just just makes me feel alive, and it feels so sexy just to be able to um, to um, be fluid in you know in how someone expresses their um, gender identity, and I think that is what's really sexy about me right now. I, I am a genuine believer that sexy is all about confidence it doesn't matter about the size of your body or your gender or how you look it's about how you carry yourself so i walk into a room like i own it and then i think that's what makes me sexy because i am confident in myself and even when i'm not i fake it a couple of glasses of wine and i'm okay if you want to see how sexy i am you can check out my instagram the fact that i can dance and that like i have good rhythm and i'm like connected to my body and can dance along to any song really I think that's sexy I thought my teeth were so fly when I was younger I spent so much not so much money my parents spent money on orthodontics uh good smile thought they were great and then I always used um was it whitening toothpaste just to make them sparkle and I thought they sparkled for ages and then sad thing happened was I smashed out one of my teeth with an iPhone when I was younger so my thing that I thought was the sexiest thing ever on my face not there anymore. I still don't think I did have like a horrible smile, but it just wasn't as premium as like I loved it back in the day. That's such an uncomfortable question. I don't know. I don't really consider myself to be like a sexy person. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a hard one to answer. I don't know. I personally find um, like intelligence in other people quite attractive. Um, so I guess maybe if I were to turn that on myself, I'd say that would that would be about me, but I don't really know how to answer that. I think growing up, I've always felt confident and comfortable within myself, but I know I don't fit society's standards of beauty in the way that some of my friends might. And so feeling comfortable if I'm looking at myself through other people's lenses, like for instance, I might feel like I'm beautiful and I look great or whatever, but then if I'm going on a date, I might be like, oh, well, if he would think I'm still beautiful, like even though I do, will he think of me in the same way that I do? So like I feel that tension within myself of my own perceptions of beauty versus other people's perceptions of beauty. And I just know for me when I felt most connected to people or most comfortable in my beauty from an outside lens, it's always been if somebody seen who I was as a person and recognized my character, recognized my humor, recognized my passions and my intellects. And that, those are the things that have always made me feel seen and beautiful by another person.